What's new in Cloud BCI 2.452.2.3? On June 12, 2024, Cloud BCI 2.452.2.3 was released. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the changes that occurred in that release. Also on June 12, Jenkins LTS 2.452.2 was released. On June 13, I did a video with Mark Waite discussing all of the changes in that release. The link to that video is down in the description. So if you've never taken a look at the release notes for Cloud BCI before, let me show you how to get there. We're going to start at docs.cloudbees.com. Under Documentation, go to Cloud BCI. Then on the Documentation drop-down, click on that and select Release Notes. And now we're at the home page for all the release notes for Cloud BCI. Now you'll notice an important block here at the top of the page. If you skip versions when you upgrade, refer to previous versions of the release notes for any relevant known issues or upgrade notes. Well, what does that mean? Again, the current release is 2.452.2.3. Let's say I'm upgrading from 2.440.3.8. I would need to go ahead and double check all of the release notes for 2.452.1.2, looking for known issues and upgrade notes, as well as the known issues and upgrade notes for 2.452.2.3. As a Cloud BCI client, we recommend an assisted update to help make the update process easier. There is a link down in the description about how to get help with an assisted update. Now, first, we're going to take a look at the release notes for traditional platforms, and then we'll take a look at the release notes with the differences for modern cloud platforms. So we'll look under full release notes for traditional platforms, and we see that there's a new feature available right off the top. We have configuration as code permissions. Now, up until the past, only administrators were able to create, update, and do anything with configuration as code bundles. With this new features, administrators can delegate this work off to other people. There are five new permissions, cask administer, cask item, cask checkout, cask read, and cask read checkout. There is a full set of documentation to take a look at for CASC permissions. Click on that if you are using CASC and want to figure out how to use these new permissions. Under Feature Enhancements, we had a number of feature enhancements to CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, as well as a feature enhancement for configuration as code for plugin management. If we go ahead and scroll down some more, there are a few other feature enhancements, a number of resolved issues that go across many of the different features within CloudBees CI. Now let's go back and take a look at the features that are specific to modern cloud platforms. So if we go into the release notes for modern cloud platforms, again, the new feature for CASC permissions, the feature enhancements for CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, but also under feature enhancements, we have sticky sessions automatically enabled on ALBs for use with high availability controllers. So what that means is if you're using CloudBees CI for modern cloud platforms on EKS, from this point forward, there is now a predefined annotation that will set up to make the configuration for the ALB work with HA controllers. Also in this release, there were a number of hibernation feature enhancements. Let's go and go down to the resolve section. What we'll see here is there were a number of resolved items also for hibernation. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell. You'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.